when I saw the paper and I just saw it and I said, this is it. This is, you know, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I said, this has to be it. This is what's happened to all of us and to all of our family members and friends that are ill. And so uh, from there we started organizing. And Eduardo, you know, we started a group. But before that, a few of us got together and said, what, you know, what can we do? And we scheduled the Valencia Library to hold a meeting, you know, and we put the word out that we would be meeting to talk about all the illnesses in the community and, uh, you know, what had caused them perhaps, and that we were going to start a group to try to get to the bottom of it and see what we could do. So, you know, there was a neighborhood group, uh, the Sunnyside Neighborhood Association. We notified them. We tried to notify any, you know, the teachers' union. There were people there. I went there initially representing them. And we tried to get, um, you know, as many people notified as possible because you'd be surprised. Nobody knew anything that people, they thought, oh, people are sick. Well, they just thought, you know, their mother died at 40, you know, of breast cancer. I mean, that's not normal. I mean, it really isn't. And uh, even in those days, and, you know, there's, they just thought, well, as some of them told us, that's God's will. And no, we're not going to be organizing for anything, you know, and we just kept at it. We just kept contacting people. And so we had this first meeting and I believe it's on tape somewhere. Um, so uh, on one of the tapes I have, there's a little piece of it. I know that you'll see. Um, but um, we, you know, we just started meeting and we had this big meeting at, at uh, Valencia Library and um, Eduardo came and he was there and there were, and uh, Lynn Prouty was a teacher at Sunnyside High School. She came, my sister came, she was an elementary teacher and a lot of members of the association uh, came and, you know, I could name them all, but it wouldn't do any, you know, any good. But it, uh, but Eduardo and I kind of took over the meeting. We just had called it and he had caught wind, I think, of it, or I had caught wind of a flyer he'd put out. I don't really remember now which way it was, but however it was, we had this joint meeting, and uh, from there, we began organizing around the problem. And we kept notifying people and calling people and you know, surveying the neighborhood. We'd walk up and down streets and ask if people in their family had had any kind of illnesses, you know, their kids, any illnesses, and uh, because we realized, we didn't realize then, but we realize now that those who were exposed younger were the ones who had the most problems. They got the most illnesses. So someone like me, I was fortunate that I moved to the neighborhood and at junior high level, and I've had many problems throughout my life, lots of illnesses, lots of things that normally wouldn't, all of them wouldn't happen maybe to one person, but fortunately they've not been deadly yet. And I know that that's eventual, you know, it'll probably be the case. But um, we, we knew that something was wrong and that we had to make a difference for the community. So we just, from that meeting, we set a new date and we just kept spreading the word to local community organizations, to other groups who had noticed in the past, like, and that's where uh, some of the, uh, Mirna, I think her name was, and, uh, the person who took over TCE eventually, I can't remember her name right now, but she, um, when all the rest of us had moved on to continue doing other things, but not, not forgetting it by any means, but we just no longer had the time to be doing the community meetings. And by then, the word had gotten out and the, the paper articles, and then uh, we were interviewed quite a bit for the paper and what was happening. And uh, Jane Kay was a great help to us. I mean, I just, um, and then Lois Gibbs, I believe, from the New York um, Island, and again, I'm sorry, I'm drawing blanks here on some of these names, but we connected with everybody. How did you start organizing? What did you need to do? We received a lot of pushback, a lot of people uh, in businesses, you know, they thought, you know, a lot of people who worked for uh, Hughes Aircraft at the time thought that we were gonna try and get rid of their jobs because we were gonna get rid of Hughes Aircraft and that that was our goal. And that was not the goal. The goal was to find out what happened, try to fix it if we could, and to keep it from continuing. And to keep it from, you know, we weren't, only those two that I mentioned were we even aware that there were people who were fighting this kind of contamination, you know, the, 
the New York, and then now since then there's been hundreds. You know, we now are aware that TCE has been everywhere, and so kind of where it is. We just kept going from there. Mm -hmm.